Hey guys, Bumbles here with another New World video, and today I'm going to go over how to best level up your skills early game, such as harvest, like harvesting, mining, gathering, skinning, hunting, all that kind of stuff. Because getting this stuff up early to level 50 is the best way to progress through the game and try to get all your skills so that you can get the higher level stuff as you progress through the game. So I want to jump right in and tell you guys what the best way and the best areas to go farm this stuff so that you guys can get your skills to level 50 as quick as possible. Let's jump right in and don't forget to drop a like, comment, and subscribe if you guys like this video. All right, so the first skill we're gonna go over is harvesting. And this is probably one of the ones early on that's kind of hard to find a great spot to find a lot of this low level stuff to harvest. Now, the number one place, as you can see here, we have hemp, uh, herbs, and petal cap all enabled on our map. And I will post this down below. This is through the New World fans. Um, the new world map that you can choose filters choose cities plants chests everything um, So as you guys can see here, this is pretty much the density of everything now You do see here. There is a big blob of a ton of stuff around Windsward Windsward is gonna be the main place you're gonna want to go for this right here is the fisherman's bend This is where you're gonna go for the main quest line pretty early on after you choose your faction Now this is probably the best place with the most common spawns in the game for this low level stuff that you need to get Usually what I do is start here and I just go north into all of this area In all of this there's not a ton of people running around doing it There is a little bit so you have a little bit of competition But for the most part you get your nice petal caps you get a ton of hemp and a lot of herbs A lot of the herbs spawn around the big trees in the area so keep your eye out for the really big like oak tree kind of trees in the middle of the fields go to the base of those and that's usually where you find your herbs the petal caps you will need for a quest line and they do go for a decent amount on the market just early on so people can get the quest out of the way there is in these fields a ton of dragon glory too um that does get you can't do that until you're level 50 anyways or level 30 um i can't believe it's 30 or 50 but once you get there you can also harvest all those in this area but by far this is the best place to farm a ton of this harvesting materials as well as herbs too because herbs you get herbs out of it as well as the hyssop and the hyssop you can make into uh, minor healing potions which levels up your alchemy all right so for early on iron and silver areas there's a few of them i do want to point out because there's quite a few really good spots as you can see here pretty much where there was a ton of flowers and stuff like that for you to pick there is no iron because it's more fieldy areas and now you have the more ores around the area where you found a lot of flowers. So one of my favorite places to go is just south of the Windsward town. Um, you have this giant clump right here of just a mass amount of ores. Um, iron, silver, saltpeter. There is also a saltpeter mine as well. And saltpeter is really, really useful for refining and stuff like that. So being able to get a ton of this is really, really helpful. But this spot right here, just southwest of the Windsward Town, is probably one of by far the best places to go. Another really good place is by Cutlass Keys. Um, this place is pretty flat and has a lot of ridges that you can climb up on and get iron ore. One of the very simple, easy routes I like to do is right here, just southeast of the Monarch's Bluff Town. Um, you go atop of this ridge. You want to stay on top of the ridge, go down around, grab all your iron veins, go all the way down to the end. So down below, there is also a couple iron veins right here as well, even though it doesn't show it on the map. This is confirmed. There are iron veins right here. You go into the cave, get your saltpeter and silver, and then go ahead and go up top. And by this time, most of the stuff should be respawning. Um, if someone's not following you, taking out other stuff behind you. One more place that is very, very common, and a lot of people do know about this, so they jump up here. Um, so you can go right west of everfall there is this ridge line here right to the left of this cave you can climb up on the rocks here and you can get all along this ridge and then there is a kind of like a land bridge over here that has a lot of silver so from this silver to this silver there is a giant bridge here that you can mine all the silver across as well if you do want a lot of silver there is a place to the north of everfall there is a ton of silver as well as a ton of saltpeter um this is the cannery mine i believe it's called um this is gonna be a lot of silver and you go to the north to the town and then the little cult, like outcove there there's a ton of saltpeter so if you're looking for saltpeter you're looking for silver these can be your number one places to go for this stuff if you're looking for iron again you're going to go towards the monarch bluffs area or to the west of ever fall onto the ridges all right so now on to wood cutting now wood cutting there's no specific way to really like specific areas to really go and get this up 
the most part, you just want to find these kind of wooded areas. Um, now, Monarch's Bluff doesn't have much wooded area, nor does, like, Cutlass Keys or First Light. What you want to do is kind of go into, like, this Windsward, between Windsward, Cutlass, and Monarch's Bluff. So there's a lot of forest here, and just try to find those batches of woods that is either a young tree until you get to level 50, and then once you get to level 50, find a nice area for mature. Um, I do know outside of Everfall, there is a really big grove of mature trees um, to the north of it, so keep your eyes out for that when you get to that level. Now, on to fishing, and fishing is something that, again, takes very... Uh, quite a bit of time and it's not something very easily just to able to sit there and just fish for a while because I mean personally I loved it so I could sit there and fish for hours but a lot of people don't like sitting there doing one thing for so much or fishing was one of those things where I could do that um, one rule that I did is anytime that I came across a fishing hole um, you see all these fish here on the map you can go ahead and uh, look down below in the description I will post this map and you can go ahead and choose your filters and then just put on all fishing spots and when you pass these, just go ahead and do like three or five casts each time you pass one of these places. Or what I did is I actually did three casts every time I crossed a river or a pond or a fishing spot. I always casted three times no matter what. This allowed me to kind of gradually get this skill up because fishing does take a very long time to level up. Now time for something for a little bit more or less demanding really because you do do a lot of hunting missions early on. Now, skinning and tracking is one of the things where you can easily farm pretty early on. Um, for the most part, what you want to do is go to these kind of little outgrows of where the wolves and the elk is more common, like this area here where there's a ton of them in a small area, because they're going to rapidly spawn because most people are sitting there hunting them as well. So go to these areas, hunt as much as possible, skin some. Some people are just going there to kill as well. They won't actually skin their kills. So if you're just trying to get your skinning up, go and skin other people's dead animals that they aren't using. Uh, especially early levels, there's a lot of places where people are just killing the wolf and just leaving the wolf because they just have to get the kills. They don't have to skin it. And they're just trying to rush through. Now, if you're just trying to get the skinning skill up, this is going to be the best way to go and do this. So for your food items and alchemy items, there is going to be two specific areas that you need to go for this. Now... There are only specific items that spawn in the crates or provision stockpiles, as well as the alchemy crates. So there's not really an easy way to find this stuff if you don't know where to look. Now, provisions are regional, so I will go ahead and post a picture up on the screen right now so you can pause the video and see what region you need to be in to find a specific item. Now, there's going to be two areas in the beginning areas that you can really farm this kind of stuff. So Monarch's Bluff starting on the east side of town, going through the town, down the island, and up the coast is going to be your best bet to farm these items. They don't spawn very frequently. They spawn anywhere between 20 and 60 minutes in between each other. Atlas Keys and First Light, Windsward area. Pretty much go southwest of Windsward. Go all the way down the coast. Cut through all these mountains. Get all the crates. Go all the way down to the big island and curl up towards Cutlass Keys and drop your stuff off. Is your This route does have the most. However, the route isn't as clear. It's very, you have to cut through a bunch of caverns and mountain cliffs and stuff like that to kind of get everything. So it's a little bit more complicated, but you do have a lot more crates here. And again, these don't matter if someone else claims these. Because you can go ahead and claim a crate right after someone else does. They're all independent. Now, you can go to farms and gather certain items. Corn, cabbage, broccoli, carrots, potatoes. That kind of stuff will spawn in farms. Other than that, you have to find the stuff in provision crates. And again, they are regional, so keep your eye out for that. If you're looking for onion and you're not in the specific place where onions spawn in provision crates you're not going to find it. So I hope this helps you guys out with trying to figure out in the best way to level up your skills early on because getting to that level 50 and all of your harvesting and gathering skills is going to be the best way to kind of progress and be able to get those higher level areas. Because once you go up there, the stuff from the early levels gets a little bit more scarce and more of your higher end stuff becomes more popular. So definitely getting this stuff to level 50 is the best thing you can do early on. My goal is to hit get this thing to level 50 to day one, possibly day two if needed. But that's going to be my first thing is getting those to level 50 so I can progress and get all the items later on. I hope this helps you guys out. Don't forget to drop a like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell. Stay tuned for some more, guys. I'm going to be pumping out a ton of these over the next few days. But thank you, guys. Let's jump right in.